All right, guys, Black here. Hey, listen, this, the thing I want to talk about is this. You know how, okay, I believe the reason why a lot of males and females don't get along in relationships is because they really don't like one another. They date one another because it's a convenience. You know, they don't want to try to find anyone else. So they like, well, I already know this person, so I just deal with them. But they really don't like each other. When you with somebody you don't like, when you get angry with them, it's real easy to call them names. It's real easy to hit them. It's real easy to abuse them. You know, when you care about somebody, first of all, you don't want to fight with them. You don't want to call them names and you don't want to physically attack them. Also, you know, um, there are some guys in this world who, okay, I had a female friend. Well, female I knew anyway. She was not really a friend. She told me that she had a boyfriend. And she said that about maybe 60% of the time when they tried to have relations, his F-150 would not start. And she said whenever his F-150 didn't start, he would become angry and sort of kind of like blame it on her. And she used to think, why is he blaming it on me? Because his truck won't run. It's not my fault because she's like, she's been with other guys and they didn't have a problem getting their truck started. So she's wondering like, why is he blaming it on her? You know, there's some guys who think they need Viagra. And I don't really think they need Viagra. I think they are bottoms or they are attracted to men. But instead of just dating a man, they it's more comfortable for them to be with a woman, even though they really don't want a woman. You know, I'm okay, I say I'm gay, but I'm I'm actually bisexual. Okay, I'm attracted to both women and men. All right. But when it comes to women, I have problems getting my F-150 started. Especially if it's an ugly ass woman, fat woman, I have a problem getting my truck started. So, to be honest with you, here lately, I can't get my truck started with men. So, I'm starting to think, damn, why am I still attracted to women if I can't get my engine started? Don't know. You know, so if if I'm a bottom, why am I attracted to women? Do I want women to park a fake F-150 in my garage? No, I don't. I've never had that done, but I don't I don't see myself doing that. I have no <clears throat> I have no wish to experience that feeling. I have no no need, no wish. Um, I like the real deal, you know? So again, if I'm a bottom, why am I attracted to women? I don't know. I can't tell you, but I am. Now, the same time, I've noticed that women with makeup and nail polish turns me off. It freaking turns me off. I love the women that don't wear makeup. You know, the, the dark-skinned black girl from True Blood, what's her name? Tara, her real name is Retuna, Retina or something. I like her because at least in that show, she didn't wear makeup much. And I found out that she's a lesbian in real life and I'm like, okay, okay. Um, why am I making this video? I just, some stuff I want to say. 
I got no real direction. It's just some stuff I wanted to say. Also, I want to talk about Lil Boosie. You know, everybody, he been losing his mind over this gay stuff, right? You know, I'm going to tell you what I think. Now, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm going to tell you what I think about Lil Boosie. I think he has been messed with growing up. At some point, somebody did something to him of the same sex, did something to him. That's the reason why he's so afraid of gay people. That's the reason why he has so many kids. He's trying to man up. You know, whoever took his manhood, he need to go back to them and get it back because having a bunch of kids ain't going to give it to you. If you notice, every time we look at the man, the man look like he hot. He look like he's high as hell. I think he's so damn high because he's trying to fight. He's trying to forget what happened to him. And every time he sees something or hears something in the news that's gay, it reminds him of what happened to him. And he becomes extremely angry. You know, like he was saying, I don't know the, the exact detail, but what I've heard, something about Little Nas X said that he would dance naked on the stage. And he talking about he going to run up there and beat the hell out of the man. <laughs> what is it? What is it that's so offensive to him that if he see a gay man dance on the stage, he going to run up and beat the man up? Then they try to say, well, I try to do it before the kids. I try to protect the kids. Uh, how are you going to protect your kids if you locked up in jail for beating up a gay man? How, who's going to protect your kids then? But the thing is, again, something happened to him when he was young. And he needed to get some counseling. You know, He's not going to talk about it because it makes him feel uncomfortable. But instead, he says stupid stuff like what he said in the news. Uh, the guy who hit me in the head with a baseball bat <clears throat> some years ago, 2015, he was the same way. Something happened to him. Something happened to him where somebody took something from him. And now he's angry at every gay person. He wants to hurt every gay person he see. You know, again, I, I'll say this a hundred times. I never touched a man. I never tried to touch the man. I never asked the man for anything. You know, never did. But what made him snap on me? Again, I struck a nerve. Something happened to him in the past, and it's got him angry with gay people. You know, different people react to being tampered with differently. I had a friend, I'm not going to call his name. His name, we'll just say his name was D. D told me when he was young, a school bus driver, man, touched him. He said that um, he touched him. And D was really, really big. I mean, D had an F-150 photo long bed with a big old trailer hitch hanging out the back. That's how long he was. But anyway, D told me that, you know, he was... First, second, and third grade, something like that. And he said the school, all I remember the school bus driver had, he said his pants unzipped. And he said he zipped up his pants and he 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 touched the little, he he pressed against his pants, right? And he said that um he went home and told his mama about it. He said, because at first he didn't. He said, but it's just something seemed uncomfortable. Something didn't seem right. So he went on and told his mom and his mom called his uncles and they beat, oh, I'm sorry, they beat the hell out of the school bus driver and then called the police on him. But D wasn't, he wasn't afraid of gay people. He wasn't angry. I mean, I told him I was gay and he didn't, it didn't seem to bother him. I mean, he didn't act no different before or after I told him I was gay. Well, I was bisexual back then. It was back in 92. So I'm wondering, is it because it only went, because his uncles then beat the gay guy up and he was arrested, that he's not angry towards gay people. So I'm wondering, like, if the bus driver had gotten away with it or kept doing it and had gotten away with it, would he be angry towards gay people? 
I sometimes wonder that. You know, at the same time, I had another friend. His name was T. I'm not going to call his whole name. His name was T. T was petrified of gay people. When I told T I was gay, he quit talking to me. Didn't want nothing to do with me. And I'm like, damn, I thought we were friends. You know, how the hell are we going to be friends for six months? And I tell you one thing and you just drop me? Well, first of all, he wasn't a friend. That's, I mean, that that's, that's some trip. Now, there's a lot of people who think they have friends and they really don't have friends. They can't really depend on them. You know, again, Tyler Perry talked about dressed up like Mud Deal talked about how friends are like leaves on a tree. If the wind blow this way, they go that way. If the wind blow that way, they go that way. And when the season change, they fall off and die. What kind of friend is a leaf? Anywho, getting back to Lil Boosie, um, people, you know, he was on the breakfast show, the morning show, whatever they call that, the breakfast show. And Charlemagne the God says something that I've been wanting to say. Well, I've said it several times, but he was like the first person to say this. You know, he said, if straight people like Lil Boosie, supposedly straight, are so afraid of one little gay person rubbing off on five straight kids, so-called straight kids or whatever, why are you work? Why is this one little gay person is going to taint them five kids? When you think those five kids would straighten up that gay person? Now, he didn't say it exactly like that. Actually, I think he said more like gay people grow up around straight people. You know, think about it. When an undercover gay person is growing up, they are around what? 95% straight people. So why don't that straightness rub off on that gay person? But instead, the straight people are so afraid of that one gay person tainting everybody else. Does that mean straight people are really that weak? Are they really that weak? Is that the reason why some straight people jump on the gay person because they're afraid that it's going to rub off? Do you know why Another reason why so-called straight people jump on gay kids or bully gay people is because they feel it. When they see a gay person, it reminds them of that gay feeling in them. And it bothers them. So they want they they get insecure. And they want people to know that they they want people to think they're straight. So they think, well, the only way I can make a person think I'm straight is to go beat up the gay person. Because they, 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 they're not going to think I like, I'm going to beat up something I like. Most of them, that's what they do. They jump on gay people because they don't want you to know that gay people turns them on. There was a porn star. There was a porn star. I was watching the interview. He said he went to high school and there was a gay guy in his high school and he said he used to harass and beat up this gay guy all the time because the gay guy turned him on, but he didn't want nobody to know that. But he said that's the reason why he's beat up the gay guy. Some years later, he ran into the gay guy and I'm having relations with the gay guy. Can you believe that? You know, when I was in prison, there was a guy I don't remember his name. I think his name was Russell. I made a comment. Russell had bought a bunch of... Russell, Russell had a bunch of years to do in prison. He had bought a large thing of Vaseline. I mean, a big old huge container of Vaseline. It wasn't for that. It was... I don't know. I guess he put it on his hair or something. I don't know. But anyway, I said to him, Boy, you're going to tear somebody up tonight, ain't you? He got mad as hell. I was joking. He got mad, man. I don't mess around with gay people. I ain't gay. I don't do that. I don't do that, man. Man, leave me alone. And then, I don't know, six or seven months later, we was in the cell together and the nigga ended up messing around with me. He ended up messing around. And I'm like, dude, you did all that front talking about you don't mess around with gay people. And, well, man, you know, I ain't want people to know. It's Dre. Y'all have any questions, comments, or whatever, let me know.
I enjoyed this conversation. Y'all have a good day. Bye.